just thought I'd better do a quick update. Firstly, uh, massive apologies. I haven't got back to anyone for about four or five weeks. Every day we're getting messages, comments. Uh, I've seen a few things posted in various groups about where I've gone and what I've done. Uh, most of it made up. So I just thought I'd give you a very quick update. So, five weeks ago I competed in round three of the Southern League in Opens. Now, I was in a lot of pain. I shouldn't have really gone to the event because I, I've hurt my shoulder, basically. Uh, the day before I was in hospital getting x-rays and bits and bobs, pain was getting really bad. I went and had to go fishing in the competition, kind of made things worse. So where it all started, you can see it's all strapped up at the moment. But the good news is um, yesterday I did have it unstrapped and it felt sort of a little bit better. So we're, we're going in the right direction, like mentally I'm feeling a lot better as well. But where it all started, 2006 had a massive motorcycle accident. Um, it was, yeah, it was, it was bad. I was in intensive care for, um, I think it was three or four days. Um, all my main artery split open. My arm basically pretty much almost ripped off. Um, so once they managed to stop the bleeding and stabilize me, so I was kind of alive, uh, the next thing was sorting out the arm. The first job was to try and keep the arm because we could have lost it. Basically up here, Every, all the uh, muscles, tendons, everything could come off, all the bones all smashed to bits. Um, yeah, it was horrific. I had several operations. As you can see here, uh, there are a couple of big screws you can see there, very obviously. There's actually another screw going up uh, this way, which you can't see from that x-ray. Uh, there have been some bits and bobs taken out of it over the years as well. Um, but it, all them screws going through the bones, which is to sort of was to keep it in place initially. The actual much bigger problem with the shoulder was all these tendons, which and, and everything, all the muscles, all had to be sewn back together. So the first thing was to try and keep the arm. The next thing was to try and get my hand and arm working. The doctors were not convinced that I would ever be able to do anything with my hand. Some sort of miracle, they managed to sew everything back together, and within a year, all my hand and that, you can see it all works. There is numbness in some of my fingers, I can't feel them, but generally, the arm's really good. Um, but recently, this was back in 2006, it all happened. So, recently, well, the start of this year, it started hurting bad. I knew something could happen, um, and it just got worse and worse. So, what it seems like has happened is one of the screws has come loose um, and it's sort of cut a nerve. So I've had nerve damage. Um, and I would say five weeks ago, and Matt, for the last four weeks, the pain has been the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. Much worse than when it actually happened or any of the operations that I've had over the years. The last five weeks was horrific. Now, it's hard to explain if you haven't had something like that, especially, look, it's not something that just hurts for a week. It's consistent pain for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, it gets you down. I couldn't do any, I couldn't even go down the shop and get some milk at one point. I was in a bad place mentally, um, which is what happens when you're just in consistent pain, no sleep, um, no energy. In actual fact, my energy levels are still low because I haven't been exercising or anything like that, you see. But um, look, things are getting better. Um, I can start going out for walks and stuff again, which to try and sort of um, just to mentally get me a bit better. Fishing wise, well, obviously I haven't been for five weeks. Um, when will I be able to go again? I, I've, it's improved massively in the last couple of weeks. I think possibly in the next couple of weeks, I could go and do some very light fishing somewhere. Maybe, I don't know, something like Shoreham Harbour or just a little bit of drop shotting or float fishing. Realistically, um, in a sea fishing match, every 10 to 15 minutes for five hours, you're casting six ounce, lead, uh, six ounce lead as hard as you can. That motion that you have to do that is the worst possible motion for my shoulder. It, has, it is getting rapidly better just recently, but I think we're a little way from that. I don't know when I'll be back doing it. A couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years. I don't know. I'm pretty sure 
The next month or so, I could go and have a go as long as I'm fishing fairly close in with flapper rigs. That's going to be the only thing that I can do. The only problem is, do you want to be going to matches when that's your only sort of option and you don't do as well as you want to? I mean, you've got to kind of live with that, haven't you? If the fish aren't close in, then you've had it. Um, so, I, I look, I love the Southern League and Opens. Obviously, I'm a committee member as well now. Um, I might go and just... I, I reckon in the next month I should be able to go and have a go with some close-in fishing. If not, I'm going to try and attend some events and film them anyway. Um, but most importantly, I've got to get my health back. Physically, mentally, I need to get back on the straight and narrow. I feel much better the last couple of days. Luckily, um, I've worked through the whole thing. Um, it was If you've been following uh, Get Fishing, you'll see we've had loads of content going out. Loads and loads of content, actually, more than ever before. Um, luckily, we filmed all that at Angler's Paradise in Devon before things got really bad. So I've just had massive amounts of editing to do. Um, I also manage all the Get Fishing social media pages on my own. I do all the social media management, uh, all the content creation. So I'm doing all of that. So I've had loads and loads of work to do. Um, but, but yeah, my own personal fishing videos we we will be coming back so the next i actually when i done round three in the summer league and opens i actually did film it but i haven't edited it just because mentally i just i thought oh, i couldn't handle it all really um and it's been a bit of a struggle but the next video you see will be round three of the summer league and opens um not that i've looked at the footage yet but i'm pretty sure we've got enough footage for a nice little video there um another video i want to do is so i've got a box of cocks and raw hooks uh, and we're going to talk about some different hook patterns I haven't seen before. Get some of your opinions, really. Uh, another thing I'm thinking of doing is some, when I can do so, I'm going to do some live streaming for, you know, a little hour or two down on the beach, some little live streaming sort of short sessions. Um, I think people have asked for a lot more pleasure fishing videos, which you will be getting, alongside the sea match fishing videos, which I, I can do when I'm fit to do so. We've also got freshwater match fishing videos we're going to chuck into the mix as well, but still the same amount of sea fishing videos as well, so don't worry. Um, but we're going to add some freshwater match fishing into it as well. Uh, everything's been put on hold this year, it's just been a disaster. Um, but things, I hope, I pray they are going to get better. Um, what else have we oh reviews people wanted some beach shout reviews so i've got ian gold's igloo beach shouter um we can do a little review on that and then uh, i've got shakespeare xt shouter which is still one of my most, most viewed videos i think and um, still people are still watching it now so we're doing an updated review of that uh, and there's loads of other bits and bobs coming out so we are going to get back to weekly videos but i just wanted to explain what's happened um that is why I, I haven't been getting back to people just because it's sort of broken me a bit. But we're coming out the other side. And uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe on YouTube because we're going to be back bigger, better. No, literally, I'm actually bigger, uh, but better. And yeah, loads of really cool videos coming out. So just bear with me, guys. Uh, I will start getting back to you all again now. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you soon.